Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 97, Quarters. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Today's question, uh, well, let me just, it's its simple. We have dates here. We want to show a quarter, right? So it's Q4, or in this case, Q3-2012. That's the goal. We want to get that format. Well, you know, there's a uh, all kinds of ways to use the mod and, and test for it, but I'm just going to go old school here. Equal Q in quotes ampersand choose choose. We want to choose based on the month of this date. The month is going to give us a number from 1 to 12 and choose is great when we're choosing uh, items that are numbered 1 through I think up to 30 or I don't know it might go beyond that now. Um, so if it's January, February, March it's quarter 1. So I'm going to put ones and then if it's the next three months it's quarter two and then four 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 all right so what that is going to do that's going to get us the quarter we will double click to shoot that down just make sure that's working q2 q1 that's beautiful ampersand dash and then ampersand the year of a2 see i was out of edit mode there i had to press q or F2 to get back into edit mode. All right, so I think that looks like what it looks like. Now, this is easier if your fiscal year ends on December 31st. It's a lot tougher if you have a fiscal year that ends some other period. Then we got to kind of that year it has to test to see if it's before or after the ending month. But in this particular case, for uh, Danny Shaco 1983, I think this will do it. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Man, I love this choose. It is just straight and to the point. I guess I'm going to copy this exact formula, except for I'll do something slightly different right in the middle part of this. Now, I'm going to use the start off with the month function, right? I can get a number 1 to 12. Double click and send it down. But that's not what I want. I want 1 to 4. Well, I need to somehow uh, do that. So I'm going to use the ceiling function. Now ceiling is a type of rounding function that always rounds up to some um, significance level. So I'm going to say round up always to the 3. So this will give me 9, 3, 6, 12. So those are all the possibilities. Now I basically have what I want. I just have to divide by 3. And there I have my Oh, that's number uh, date formatting. I'm going to use Control Shift tilde. That applies the general formatting. So there I have it. I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's really the hard part of this. The rest of this is in double quotes, Q, ampersand to join that. We have our quarter 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we ampersand dash. So in double quotes, we have some text, ampersand, and then year. We'll click and send that down. So uh, ceiling month and a little bit of uh, rounding up and division instead of that choose. Either one is pretty good. You know, for this problem though, if you're just a rank beginner and you don't know choose and ceiling and all that, you know, I think a lot of people might just do something like this. I can scoot this over here. Just flat out type some stuff <laughs> into some cells, right? It takes just you know, less than a minute or something like that. Come over here and just do a straight V lookup. I'm looking up the date, comma. Let's see if I can uh, look this a little bit more. Looking up the date right here. Notice this table is so sorted from smallest to biggest. Those are just numbers there, so it will always get the right one. I say, hey, that's the table, F4, comma. I want to return the thing I typed in in the second column, so I put a 2, close parentheses. Right, so uh, choose ceiling or just flat out a V lookup. All right, throw back to Mr. Excel. I love these tooling podcasts. See, I, I learn something every single time. When I was doing mine, I kind of said, well, hey, look, we've got to take the month and divide by three, uh, but then that gives us a zero here. So I said, all right, well, then we're going to add one to the three. But when I copied that down, it didn't work uh, because three divided by three is instead of a fraction, uh, it actually becomes one, so the integer doesn't take it back down. 
uh, it, it, it's, you know, we're getting groups of three here, but it's off by one. So, I said, oh, geez, then we have to do this equal if the mod of that divided by three, if the remainder is zero, then we add zero instead of one. And then I finally have the answer. And then Mike just comes along and blows it all out of the water with the ceiling function. Oh, my gosh, that's incredible. Um, but what I loved the most about Mike, I'm going to control page down here, uh, is just casually, he mentions, uh, oh, whoops, I got the uh, answer in the wrong date format. And all I have to do is press Control Shift tilde. Frankly, I didn't hear what he said after that. My mind was just reeling that there is an easier way to convert those dates back to numbers. So, 100 points to Mike for that cool tip. Hey, we'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.